So today here at the Beach Club, we are going to be fusing chicken skin to monkfish using trans glutamate. I'm uh, just getting some of the sinew off of this here first. And uh, once we get it cleaned up, uh, you'll see we'll, be, we'll probably fuse some of this small pieces over together, wrap the chicken skin, and roast or nicely uh, basted piece of monkfish. So uh, just watch how it comes. We'll check it out later. I've got the uh, monkfish cleaned up here. Just squeeze a little bit of lemon. Just chef with these patented secret seasoning. You can get that at uh, L. Shriver. Chef with these secret seasoning. Fine white powder. And we will sprinkle an even amount all over the fish. And you can immediately kind of feel a little heating, a little heating sensation as the proteins start to go to work. And they come alive and they fuse chicken skin to the fish. And you'll immediately feel a little bit of reaction. So as you can see here, uh, I've got a chicken skin, the whole skin of the chicken as best you can, just with the holes for the wings and the legs. Alright, and I'm going to lay down on plastic. Here's a piece of our moon so you can see it's already starting to stick together, the proteins. Now what I'm going to do is put that right here. Make a small cut, fold it under, so we've got a nice even piece. Then just sort of roll it like a sushi. Alright, tighten it up like you would a sushi. Now, this right here will have to sit overnight in the fridge for that translucimate to uh, fuse together that skin and the chicken. So I'll do a few more of these, and uh, then once you give it a shot too, and tomorrow we'll roast them in the oven and have a little taste test. Okay, so we've uh, waited 24 hours, our, our rolls of... Uh, Bunk fish that were wrapped in chicken skin, sat overnight with the trans glutaminase. And, uh, so that's the way it looked here. And open this up. You see, it really stays together nicely. And that chicken skin is just going to base that fish really nice. And so the proteins have bound with the transluminase, and you see a, a, a perfect mulatto. Now, I'm going to go ahead and roast off a couple of these on a high heat, render the skin, and then uh, serve it, uh, take a, a slice on the plate, uh, and put it back into the oven a little later for service, to heat it up and serve it. Uh, maybe we'll have a little foam or a capsule sauce to go with it. There it is. Okay, we'll check it out after it comes out of the oven. We'll give, a, give you a slice and uh, uh, maybe a little taste. See it. So as you can see, the, the monkey is rolled in the chicken skin, the transglutaminase. We didn't tie it, we didn't do anything. Maybe it could have come 
a little, uh, a little more perfect if we had, had maybe tied it with some string. But let's see what this looks like inside. You notice the skin is fused, it's not coming off at all. And let's see what we've got going on here. Wow, look at that juicy plump. The chicken skin has basted the, uh, the monkfish. All right, let's take one little splice. It's got Whitney's secret seasoning in there, so you know it's going to be good. And here, try a bite of this. Mmm, yum. Mmm. That's about as good as it gets. Mm. Well, there you have it. Perfectly rolled together with transglutaminase, uh, monkfish, golden chicken skin, basted. You know how monkfish can get dry and, and tough. It's not that at all. Uh, it's definitely Now, uh, in just a minute, we're going to work on the face. So, yeah. Okay, so when he's back, we've got the monkfish that's been wrapped in the chicken skin and it's been fused together using transglutaminase, which uh, once again is a, is a, an amino acid that, that, that bonds with the protein that puts it together. So as you can see, it looks like a, a chicken rillade from far away, but that is actually monkfish that's been seasoned and roasted nice and crispy with the chicken skin. Now, I, I, I'm not sure exactly what we want to do with this here. Um, Transglutaminase uh, does have a sodium chloride in it. Uh, it's about perfectly seasoned, but I want to give a little acid to, to the dish, maybe sort of an appetizer-ish kind of thing, uh, with some greens and some champagne vinaigrette. And uh, so I'm going to take a couple slices here. Now you always slice into your hand when you're slicing. I don't know if two is going to be enough. Yeah, I probably will for a nice little tasty appetizer. And uh, the beets. The beets are marinated. And the balsamic vinegar has been mixed with uh, a little bit of a raspberry puree, give it sweetness, give it a little thickness, and as well, some of these grapefruits will go nicely. We don't want to cover up all of that beautiful roasted beet. And then I'm just thinking something Something like that. Maybe we need a little more drizzle. And, uh, and then just the last little touch of champagne vinaigrette. Monkfish medallions with uh, crispy chicken skin, grapefruit, and, uh, raspberry balsamic, and most beans that you would like about a touch. 